Testament, let's return to serenity for my good buddy, Brent Halper. And uh, let's jump in. Did they have Skolnick on this one? I don't know. There's some effects, some coursing reverb delay. I've got a little bit on this intro here. Tuna, half step, tuna, tuna, it's a fish. Try it sometime. But be careful of the mercury in it, okay? That's for you, Brent. Alright, so check it out. How does this go again, you guys? Open A, second fret D. Pick strings five, then four. And then pick that second fret again and hammer to the third fret. And then do the do it again, but don't hammer. Open A, 2D, 3D. Do that again. A, D, D. And then the next one. Open A, 2D, 3D. Pick it again and slide a whole step up to five. And then pick 3D and 2D. So that's the first one. The second one's slightly altered. So here's what we have. Oops, missed the A there. And then you start it over. Now, this time when you get to the 2D, you're going to pick it and hammer to the 3rd fret. Then pick that 3rd fret and then pick the 2nd fret and hammer to 3, pull to 2, pull to open. It's a combination of hammer-ons and pull-offs. So, here's the, the last one. Pick the 2D, opening D, and then 4A. So we'll have. And then we're going to pick the 4A again, but we're going to play an inverted power chord. So go 4A, 2D, and go 5, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4. Down, 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 up, up, up. Then go 3A, 2D, open G, down, down, up. Keep them down as a chord, don't go, you know, you want it left down. And then 2A, 3E, 2E. So. And then this, the distortion comes in. Hit open E, second fret A. And then palm mute the rest. Two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. I believe so. Let me see. Yep. Count in your head like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Kind of pick harder as you go, the dynamics. This is a really cool chord progression here, guys. It goes. Um, love it, man. 7A, 9D, 9G. So we're hitting the E octave on it. it goes strings 5, 4, and 3 together twice. Palm mute the open E once. And then hit that chord again two times. So we have... Actually one time. And then palm mute the E. And then repeat it. Okay? So here it is, just this part. And then we're going to repeat that same thing here on the strum side, but we're going to change the chord to 7A, 10D, 9G. Repeat exactly the strings and everything. And here's a tricky one. Take your pinky, go up to 11D, leave everything else down, the 7A and the 9G. Same beat. Take that pinky, move it back to 10, so a half step flat. And this one we're going to cut into it a little bit. Go. Up to there. And then hit that chord once. So twice, palm muted E, chord once, palm muted E, and then the chord once. And we have 3D slide to 5. 
4G, 5D, 7A. A little arpeggio there. Then the next part goes like this. Okay, so go 2A, 4D, go 6, 5, 4, 6, 5, 4, down, down, up on your picking. You could go down, 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 but chances are it's down, down, up. Then go 3E, 2A, open D. You're going to do the same concept, but now, uh, yeah, same strings and everything. 6, 5, 4, 6, 5, 4. Then go 5A, 4D, 2G, kind of a stretch here. Um, go 5, 4, 2. Or 5, 4, 3, I'm sorry, on the strings. And then repeat that, but lift your index off towards an open G. So it's... And then open A, 2nd fret D. Let's see, let me try it. Go 2 D, 2 G. It's an A2 chord. Go 5, 4, 2, 3. Down, down, up, up. Okay, so that is. Start it over. And then this time on the last chord, instead of going, this is the A2, just hit the open A and the second fret D together one time. It's a power chord. Then you start it all over. That's a good chunk of that testament. Return to Serenity from my good buddy Brent. Um, take your time, play it slow. Anything worth doing is worth doing right, right, right. My name is Mike Gross. RockingGuitarSims.com is my website. Be watching for that. Um, I want to thank uh, SixStringMadness.com for the interview that they did with me. Um, made me feel very special. Really cool interview. If you get a chance to check it out, go to SixStringMadness.com. Um, it was the overall interview. They said um, most popular guitar teacher of 2013. I was like, damn, yeah, boy, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah. Subscribe to both my channels, rockin YouTube.com/slash Rocking Guitar Lessons One and Rocking Guitar Lessons Two. They're interactive. Um, I'm the type of teacher that um, I'm not just going to throw these videos up and just say figure it out. I do want to help you guys along to the next level. So ask questions. Um, and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible and hopefully give you the right direction. Sometimes it's the littlest thing that people are hung up on. So, um, and speaking of that, I teach on uh, Skype and Google Hangout. All you need is a webcam. Uh, $50 an hour, $25 for a half an hour. We work on whatever you want. Hey, kitty, come here. What's up, buddy? Whatever things you want. Um, it's the fastest way to get the results you want to get. Um, I'm not really an old school teacher, and I will work with you on whatever things you, you want to help with, whether it's fine tuning songs from beginning to end, um, whatever, technique, soloing, help with writing songs. I'd like to, you know, the goal is to draw the creativity out of you. Sometimes we don't know how to do that, so I have ways to help you do that. Um, music is expression, and if you feel like you're trapped and you can't express yourself, that's a, that's a that's a lonely place to be. So um, add me. My Skype name is Rocking Guitar Lessons. Only if you want to do the lessons with me. If you just have questions, hit me up at my YouTube inbox or rockingguitarlessons at hotmail.com and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Um, I'm playing the Scarred Guitar that uh, Scarred Guitars in Florida gave me. Thank you, Sean. It's growing on me more and more every day, really. I'm digging it. Um, but be sure to check out Sean's site. And uh, my PayPal email, tbxpunk, if you'd like to make a donation to this channel. If you can, I still love you. Keep coming. Take my videos, spread them on your Facebook, get, you know, word of mouth, man. Tell your friends about me if you don't mind. And uh, I think I covered everything, guys. I really do. I do have some DVDs for sale. Watch for rockingguitarsums.com. Coming soon. To a city or a country near you. I'll play this on the outro. Okay, kitty. I don't know if you like Testament, but I know you like classical music and metal, so you should. Let's play this. Cat hair all over.
cat stayed for the whole thing. Yes, he likes Testament, man. He likes Testament. This is this is great. I mean, this is groundbreaking for me. A cat that likes Testament? Come on. It's not every day. Usually they like Stray Cats or Elvis Presley. But uh, not my Deedle cat. He likes Testament. And he likes them a lot, see? Not my bud. He's a heavy metal kitty. I love my kitty. He's my best friend. He's my best friend. <coughs> Alright, I'm signing off. If someone wants to let me know if this was Alex Skolnick or not. Didn't look like him in the video. He's a nice guy, I met him. Great player. He's one of those metal guys that kind of went jazz. Hmm. I don't see you see any grays in there. I don't know. Alright, peace out guys. Testament.